Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Saturday, December 10th, 2016 by Gaia Blumi. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is Om Daksham Nama. I'm going to say that again. Om Daksham Nama, which means my actions are blissfully free from attachment to outcome. And that is the space we want to be in today. We have the Sun conjunct Saturn today. So we talked about that in depth yesterday, but here we reach the peak of it. Um, and then, you know, we'll be working with this energy through the day, but hopefully some of the heaviness that may you may have felt building into that will you know, shed off and instead you can step into the the highlighted version of it. I'm actually going to show you my, one of my cards. I felt drawn to the archetype cards by Carolyn Mace and I pulled Slave. And I think this is so perfect because the light attribute is surrendering your power of choice to the divine with complete trust. The shadow attribute is giving your willpower to an external authority out of fear of making your own choice. And I think that goes really well with the energy of Saturn because Saturn can place these expectations upon us. It can bring up the shoulds. Saturn uh, Saturn corresponds with the sign of Capricorn, which is this structure, which is, you know, the world and how, how we're building the world and how we're showing up in the world and how we're leading the world. And right now, this structure is going through major change with Pluto going through the sign of Capricorn. So we're getting to change this energy of Saturn along with this structure of the world. Is it, what is responsibility? Is responsibility this old thing of like showing up and doing what the world told you to do? Or is responsibility your responsibility to what is showing up in your life? To surrendering and working with your soul, the divine, your higher self moving through you. And to me, that is the energy that Saturn is asking us to truly embody. There are vibrations of everything. So the lower vibration of Saturn is that I will be a military mouse and I will follow the rules and I will do all these things because I have been told to do them. And yes, there can be some wonderful attributes in there. However, what happens when you're like, hey, this is the song of my soul. This is my responsibility to the planet. This is my responsibility to myself. There is a choice. What I love about this connection, this Sun conjunct Saturn connection, is that it's at 18 degrees, which is a nine, which is that degree of passion. So our fires are ignited in this. And if I look through the um, the energies of the day, we have Mercury connecting to Neptune. That's happening at nine degrees. So here we have that fire. We have the Saturn Sun connection, 18 degrees. That's a nine. Um, we have the moon connecting to Neptune then, still at this 9 degree. And then the moon connecting to Mercury, which I think by that time, I don't know if it'll still be at a 9. I think it'll be actually at a 10 by that point. So the 10 degree energy, our worth, which is the other thing of the day. Because we have the moon shifting from the fire energy, the 9 degree energy of moon in Aries, into Taurus, which Taurus takes us into our worth. Taurus takes us into the 10. And so that's the other part of this is having the fire and then knowing the value, the worth of your fire and the worth of bringing that fire into the world. And so that's why I love this energy mantra today. Om Daksham Nama, my actions are blissfully free from attachment to outcome. I think when we get stuck in the shoulds and what I should be doing and what the world expects of me and expectations and all those things, we get attached to the outcome and it should look like this. My life should look like this. And this instead is like, I'm going to find the flow. I'm going to work with this energy within me. Now what I love is this Mercury connected to Neptune energy at nine. The universe is guiding you. Are you listening? Are you still stuck in the shoulds? It's up to you to allow these revelations to come through. They may not come through this way. They may come through the fire in your belly. So be willing to listen to these fires coming up and through you. The moon in Taurus. Moon in Taurus is an interesting energy. Moon in Taurus, or Taurus in general is an interesting energy. Again, everything has its vibrations. On one level of Taurus, it can be really laid back and chill and like it's like a bull in the field. I'm going to eat some grass. I'm going to enjoy this grass. Ooh, this grass is so good. The other side is like the bull must do things. And so, you know, you may feel either energy in it. 
blissfully free yourself from attachment to outcome and honor how you are being asked to show up in your life at this time. Whether you are the bull in the field enjoying the grass, whatever that means to you, or if you are a bull in a china shop. <laughs> um, more, what other bull references can I pull up, you know? But take the action that's right for you. Honor yourself. Do not get caught up in the outcome. Instead, honor the fires within and how they are wanting to you to move at this time. So the moon in Taurus is going to square Venus. Venus in a Aquarius. Aquarius. <laughs> um, so we may feel a little of that, you know, that push pull against like what I should be doing. To me, I'm going to show you. I don't really want to show you, but I'm going to show you a little. What you should be doing according to me in this, this is happening at three degrees, the only like three degree thing happening today. This is an opportunity to expand your vision. Get beyond the shoulds. You should get beyond the shoulds. And instead, focus on the vision and place your value in the vision and be receptive to the expansion expansive energy of your vision, the expansive energy that's possibly coming in as Mercury and Neptune both continue to connect to the moon and bring these revelations on, in, and through you. This is within you to do this. So, that being said, I have the most awesome cards for this day. I have the traveling card. This to me is so Sagittarius. This is so Sun and Sagittarius conjunct Saturn. Shifting your beliefs, opening up your mind, traveling to horizons beyond the horizons that you've already set for yourself. This is your opportunity in it. It is also your opportunity to be receptive to what the universe is wanting to share with you, tell you at this time, if you are open to expanding said horizons. And participate with the universe. Participate with what is the universe showing you at this time. Because the possibilities are so expansive. Look at this. Traveling, possibilities, receptivity, participation, and then finally, this is in deeper integration with yourself. So, this is beautiful. All this energy, if you can work with it, if you can manage to not get caught up in the shoulds. So, the final card I have from the Sacred Symbols is the power card. And it's so funny. I picked up the deck and this was on the bottom and I was like, ooh, that card would be so good. Okay, I'm going to shuffle and see what card I get. I pulled this, of course, so I'm going to read it to you. A powerful ally or connection. All the planets are. Saturn is your powerful ally and connection today. You are granted permission to display your strengths from all to see. This is a great time for personal charisma and magic. Meditate on this when you want to call your power back and feel your confidence. And this symbol is the crown of Isis, made up of the sun disk and cradled by the cow horn. So... We have some bull going on in here. Um, the sun and the cow were both worshipped in ancient Egypt as a symbol of the different but equal powers of the feminine and the masculine. And there we have that integration energy. So here we are working with this divine power, working with this Saturn energy. It is up to you which vibration of it you're going to choose. But it's also up to you to be in the place of Om Daksham Nama. My actions are blissfully free from attachment to outcome. And instead, I am in the flow honoring the flow of my inner fire. So that's it for today. Go check out GaiaBlooming.com for uh, all kinds of different sales. You can find that there. And I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.